the project Earth Measure at Bernheim is a, a massive sculpture piece. It is nearly 100 tons of Indiana limestone composed of less than 30 individual blocks. Half of those blocks weigh about 9,000 pounds each. Um, I took this very seriously and spent about two years, you know, just brainstorming exactly what I was going to do. So I've been carving stone all summer long. Matt is a very dedicated artist and he's really interested in researching his subjects and really studying the science behind what he's producing. For instance, with Earth Measure, he did a lot of research both about Barry Bingham Jr. and about the nature of sound. He worked with sound engineers to make sure that the shape of the dome was correct, um, that it would have the right angles to capture the sounds of nature, uh, and he's very intense about it. He has that artistic and creative side, but he also has that very intense uh, mathematical and scientific side. The element of time in my work is, um, I think, one of my most personal elements that I do bring to the final product. Um, I'm very much interested and passionate about science. Um, science is very much, you know, the study of time. Uh, within the fields of science, I'm very interested in evolution and evolutionary psychology, uh, behavior, um, the nature of things. Um, but along the way, through my stone carving, um, I kind of had an enlightenment in a way. And that passion for science enlightened me to the fact that the stone that I'm carving, which is predominantly Indiana limestone, it's a sedimentary stone. The sedimentary stone is a product of the fossil bed. Um, as I'm carving this stone, you know, I see teeth, I see little nautilus shells, I see um, sh all kinds of prehistoric activity. You know, I'm carving a remnant of 350 million years of time. I do like to work in um, a number of materials uh, and I think that that's predominantly because I feel like as an artist um, materials are kind of my, mo my vocabulary, you know, this is how I speak, this is how I compose a sentence, and uh, they're in a story as well. So if I have a diversity of materials that I'm working with, um, my story and that narrative will just be that much more complex and diverse. Uh, I love, you know, the physical act of creation, really. Um, there is um, the sculptor named Constantine Brancusi, and he's got this quote that's always stuck with me. Uh, in this quote, he says, create like a god, command like a king, and work like a slave. Um, this is uh, sort of a, a life character or life principle that's always stuck with me, and I feel like I apply to you know, all of my artworks, and, or at least strive to. Um, so it's a really unique experience to be to be an artist, really, to make things, um, to, you know, be creative. Uh, and I think that's the sort of dichotomy of it, is the object or product itself and the creation time, that experience. Um, I think I probably like the creation more than the product, but uh, it's really up to, I guess, everyone else to uh, judge the work and behold it and see its beauty or not. I think Earth Measure is a perfect example of geometry, engineering, technology, art and design, and mathematics. The work is inspired by Barry Bingham Jr. The piece is most simply a marriage of both his work and his passion, uh, that being, you know, prints, radio and television. On top of these buildings, you find a slew of satellite dishes. Um, Bernheim's motto is connecting people with nature. 
in the first couple of weeks that we've had it open to the public, it's amazing to see people interact with it. They climb into this, the lens of the piece. There's lots of photographs being taken. People are backing up and in, in and out of the sound dome to you know, hear levels and change, change volumes. Uh, so it really is working as an interactive tool for people to really uh, enhance their engagement with nature, which is the whole point of what Bernheim is about. And what Barry Bingham really appreciated about Bernheim was that connection with nature. So we think that um, Matt really did do his homework and he created a piece that really engages people to connect with nature in a more deep, deep level. You know, I, I'm very fortunate to be doing what I'm doing. Um, in many ways, I'm lucky. and. Uh, it's very much, you know, a celebration of the opportunity to create work and to be kind of given that license and that trust of an art maker. Um, you know, I take that very seriously and uh, try to make the best work possible. Um, it's the honor of the act of being able to be a creative person that makes what I do so wonderful.